Hello and welcome! This video is about the Forgotten Labyrinth of the Ancients. And the time has come for me to show you how to get through all five levels and strategies that go with it so that you know what to expect and even if you are low level or just trying your best to get through it there is a chance with the knowledge you'll get in this video that you can do it so without further ado let's go ahead and get started here we go and here we go with level one I will pause the gameplay from time to time to discuss tactics but here is how this works when you come into this room it's a open squared room and you will get attacked from all three sides not the side you came in from your objective is to just destroy everyone that comes at you so move around this squared area but notice the arrow at the top a boss monster will come in when you have destroyed enough of the uh, regular ancient labyrinth creatures so I am able to stand here and just uh, melt them down because of my CP level if you're lower level I highly recommend you do what it takes to bring lots of potions move around do what you do so that these guys can be grouped up and burned down or taken out your style but just know that this is going to go on for a length of time and then you will notice at the top that the uh, big guy the giant guardian appears will show up and he is not so bad his movements are slow and telegraphed so you can see when he moves back to swing so uh, just be aware that he's not very quick and you should be able to get him once you tap on the uh, artifact you have the option to choose stage two or keep the rewards for stage one which is the Ruta Shen's ancient ancient secret chest but it's ten of them if you go to stage two and win it you get 20 of them and it keeps going up to 50 and welcome to level two so this one this is how it works and this is how it starts the very first thing you need to be aware of is this cheap shot right here you want to get out of the way so the minute you come in this is where your designated spot is to stop you need to dodge out of the way and get over to the safe area other than that it is a regular fight you would encounter when you go to ancient ruins and fight the ancient guardian just be aware that he has distance and it will be displayed any time now let's just oh and he has minions so let me go over here to the left and there this is what you want to watch out for he has reach so just uh, look for when he pulls back and throws his blade so you can get out of the way and the last tip for this uh, level is to look out for this message coming up right here a powerful attack is being ready to get away from the enemy that means he's gonna launch up into the air and pick a spot and come down just like he did when you first entered this area so be aware of it so you can dodge out of the way other than that fend off his minions and kill him so you can get the prize and once you go over and tap on it you will right there where it says check you will get another option where it will say do you want to keep the prize for level 2 which is 20 of the Naruda Shen ancient secret chests or do you want to go to level 3 where you'll get 30 of them so we're gonna go to level 3 here we go and for level 3 this is a different mechanic altogether it's actually quite fun once you are told what the strategy is so let's show that to you now so the very first thing I want you to do when you get in here is pull to the right and run 
in a square completely running in a square do not get into the corners of this map because the objective is to keep away from the creatures that are showing their circles which is the area that's going to be detonated with them as a bomb so they're letting you know that if you stay in my circle as the circle expands out then I will explode you'll take damage and that's their objective is to kill you and you are gonna be a football quarterback running in a circle and as you can see these guys get a little tricky trying to be ahead of you to anticipate oh well you're coming I'm going to already start my circle and uh, get you but all you have to do doesn't matter what level you are is just keep running and you can see the time ran out everyone is going for their last ditch effort to kill you and there it is third chamber done wasn't that easy <laughs> so you just go over tap on it tap on check and now you have the option do you want to keep the prize for level three which is naruta shen times 30 or go for level four which is 40 of them and we are going to level four here we go For level four, you're gonna be fighting Al Rundi Spectre. He is a boss monster that you normally encounter, and this is how it works. Here we go. So when you first get in, you might wanna turn the camera a bit to the right, and notice the room you are walking into. I'm going to freeze this so I can explain. The black areas that you see are like tar areas, and they move so they're not in the same spot as you're fighting so be aware of them if you stand in it you're gonna take damage and it's going to hurt it'll probably kill you like it did me when i first started doing this and i had no idea what i was doing i was just fighting and standing in it and taking damage and i died so i kind of got scared of this level but he is not so tough when you understand to avoid these black tar areas and that he has a spear that he shoots out so just be on the lookout for that spear and when he's using it it's pretty easy he telegraphs himself so you should be okay and uh, you will slow down I guess if you get hit from it you'll notice my character is slowly moving away or yeah paused it's probably his pullback from doing a super and I really can't explain why he automatically died. It's possible that he takes damage as well when he stands in the black area too. So you just tap on the magnifying glass and now you have the option to keep the reward for level four. It's all the same stuff or proceed to level five and we're going to level five. Here we go. So for level five, the final level, there is a few things to explain so that you are well informed on what you need to do to combat the final boss. So let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. So the most obvious thing is that he will be coming in from this direction. From the very top, he's a big uh, guy and his attacks are slow, but he also has area of effect attacks. So if you're able to, fight him at a distance. Don't go toe to toe with him because he has a lot of tools to uh, do damage to you. And as you can see, he does move around the area very slow. So you can just keep at him and damaging him from a distance. <clears throat> so he will run up on you like he just showed you. But uh, when you get him down, to zero from his health a new thing occurs an object that's inside of him will come out and it'll have its own health and you'll get a message here you are to destroy the black spirit's core to weaken the black spirit which honestly it kills him so you want to destroy that black spirit's core so let's show you what it looks like and there's another message that you should be aware of and it's this one black spirit strength will return if the core is not destroyed in 20 seconds 
So as we come around here, it looks just like that. And it is called the Bulwark's Core. So if you do not destroy it, then you will need to fight the uh, main boss again, get him all the way down, and then you have another shot at the core. Whether it will resume the health that it had, I'm not quite sure, but you would be doing both things until you destroy the core and he's finally down. So once you destroy the core, then you will have the option again to choose the last prize, which is why not? It's much bigger and it is the final prize, so why deny yourself? You should take it. Tap on check and there it is. Congratulations if you had made it to this point. You have 50 of the Neruda Shen's Ancient Secret Chests. And that is how this all works. So let's go to the outro of this video. So on behalf of Archmage and myself, Magi, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, let people know I am always making more videos and there's so many more left to do. So once again, thank you and you have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.